I don't usually get stung on prices, but I did yesterday, so I thought I'd tell you about it. I'm cheap. I'm Irish. We didn't inherit any money through our family lines. So I try to pinch pennies whenever possible. I got stung yesterday. I got stung yesterday. But it won't happen again. Here we go. Uh, I went to the local chain drugstore and bought a package of which I wouldn't or wouldn't probably normally do. Bought a lot of package of Tums, and I'm trying to see if you can see that. Can you see that price tag? Five seventy nine. There's ninety six in this container. It looks like the exact same product as this one I had previously purchased. This one has seventy. They look they look the same. Wait just a second. Sorry, get my hands on there right. Yeah, look pretty close to being the same. It's the same 750 whatever milligrams or whatever, and looks the same except there's 26 more in the one that was five dollars and seven. Oops, five dollars and seventy nine cents, and this one was. Can you see that? I'm sorry, I'm turning it the wrong way again. Three bucks. <laughs> Bought this at the chain drug store. Bought this at Dollar General for three dollars. And uh, I was in Dollar General earlier, and I still did that. So I haven't sat down to do the math to figure out what 96 would cost at the price per pill that I paid for the 70 but maybe sometime when I have time on my hands, I'll do that. Needless to say, this $3 one was a lot cheaper per pill than this 579 package. So sting number one. Let's move on to sting number two. I wanted to have, if you've read the Impacted Bowel <laughs> video, read a watch, I keep saying read, if you watch the Impacted Bowel video, I was wanted to make sure that we had some colase in storage, and so I picked up, I figured to get the name brand, because some things you don't want to skimp on, <laughs> some things you want the name brand for. So I went to the drugstore, I don't know if you can see that, I think it says $14.49, let's see. Yeah, $14.49 for 30 capsules of 100 milligrams of colase. Okay. But when I'd been at Dollar General earlier, I thought they didn't have it. They didn't have colase at Dollar General. I'm naming my, my stores now. I'm not going to dance around that anymore. So I picked up this package that I thought would be great for storage because it was only $2.50. And then I got home from the drugstore. This doesn't usually happen to me. <laughs> I got home to the drugstore and I looked at the active ingredient. I just figured there's no way could just be the same ingredient as it was in the colase because it was so cheap. And I knew the I knew the colase was gonna run 15 bucks approximately. So I went back to the shelf and picked this up and looked at it. Sure enough, <laughs> I don't have my good glasses on. I don't know if I can say it. it's the same thing that's in Dulcolax, I think. It's uh I have the right glasses on. Sodium something, I can't I can't see it right now. Let me get the big glasses on. The active ingredient, these make me dizzy if I'm, active ingredient is, uh, where did it go? Here it is, sorry. Is dulcosate sodium, I guess, 100 milligrams. Same strength, but there are, 30 in the one that costs $14.49 and there are 25 crooked, sorry, there are 25 in the one that costs $2.50. Stung! <laughs> Got stung twice in one day. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple of other things that I picked up. In an attempt to have some sheltering in supplies, and this is probably not the best thing I could have bought, but I got a paint drop cloth which is nine feet by something. I can't see it because it's covered by the sticker that says, if you can see that, buck 25 Dollar General. So I've got something I can use for sheltering in because I had supplies. I don't know what I did with them. Same place, 40 yards of duct tape to use for sheltering in. You can look at that video, but it's better to go to the FEMA video that's on YouTube. $3 for 40 yards of duct tape. So it's convenient, close to home. Didn't have to park far from the door. I have been thanking 
the Lord for our Dollar General store. This is garlic, 100 milligrams. It's supposed to be um, odor free. I don't think it can be that bad because I don't think it can, oh, let's just say I don't think it could be that smelly. I don't think it could make you smell very much. It's, I have a reason. I won't tell you. But this is uh, 100 milligrams. I was told you can get them even in 1,000 milligrams. This is 60 tablets. Dollar General, I paid $3 for that. So I consider this is my backup in case we can't get antibiotics some, at some point in time. I got a couple of these. I probably should have more than two. But uh, we'll make another video about drug resistant diseases. But I just heard on the news yesterday that um, especially tuberculosis and some other diseases. Oh, I look bad. D uh, tuberculosis and some other diseases are becoming more and more drug resistant as we speak because we're using antibiotics in the in the uh, livestock and poultry industry and uh, so the germs become drug resistant which is one of the stupidest things we could possibly be doing to ourselves not smart at all not smart remind me to talk about monoculture you probably already know about it this is poly twine, three-ply poly twine, 150 feet, and I bought some clothesline. You could use this as a clothesline, but it's just nice to have. It's like a rope. It's like poly twine, three-ply, three-ply poly twine. I can't say that tongue twister, but it's, it's like a rope that you could use to do lots of things with, and that was buck fifty for that. Oops. Poly twine, Dollar General. Boy, Dollar General is going to love me. Then, long story behind this, I won't go into, but I spent some money. This was actually at Walmart and it was $5.16. I have dental issues. This is Biotene toothpaste for dry mouth. I It doesn't have a lot of information on the package. Really, I'm going to read it, what it does have, but it is. Uh, it says it has uh, enzyme protect, triple enzyme protection. Actually, it tells the name of the enzymes right on there. It's the germs in your mouth, and I've been told that it's hereditary, that um, cause the plaque to turn in, I guess, to turn into acid or something and cause tooth decay. Then I thought it was interesting that you can still get a box of baking soda, Dollar General, for 50 cents. So if you only have pennies to spend right now, pick up some baking soda. It's essential for a couple of things, softening beans and baking. And then I had two other things I just wanted to touch on briefly. You can quit now if you're in the mood. You can turn, turn off if you're in the mood. You're not in the mood, whatever. This is $3.48 and it was Again, I got the wrong glasses on. It's looking like two and a half ounces. So let me check again. Hold on. It is very small print. Three and a quarter ounces, it looks like. Looks like three and a quarter ounces. I got this at Walmart. This is Dry Idea deodorant. And I'm not plugging this brand specifically. But it was astounding to me. I had a smaller one that I bought at the dollar store. And Dollar Tree was the one I didn't mention to. I meant to mention in suppliers. They get a lot of things at Dollar Tree. They have, they have an amazing selection, I think. I had a smaller one that I bought at the dollar store. And I'm telling you, it lasted me almost a year. And I shower daily. <laughs> I shower and use deodorant daily. And it lasted me pretty much close to a year. I'm thinking that this one of these would last you long. If one person's using it, I could almost guarantee you that this would last you more than a year. I don't know why the, it's it's a very it's a very uh, wet, liquidy uh, consistency as compared to more like you'd think alcohol would be as compared to the one I the other one I bought when I couldn't find this that lasted me just a few weeks and it was more like of a lotion consistency. So whatever this is, this stuff lasts forever forever, <laughs> forever and ever and ever. Then I had mentioned before in another video, but I want to mention again because I'm just really astounded. This is a 33% free 
more free and it's with them I get 16 ounces. I paid $3.75 for this at Dollar General. A cup I had some scalp issues and and I was told by a couple, two or three different friends that they really like Dove shampoo. So I tried this and I had been buying dollar store shampoo and it was taking me like a half a got a lot of hair here. It goes way down. But I was it was taking me like a half a cup of, of dollar store shampoo and then I wasn't getting good results. And so I think my screensaver is going to go. And so uh, now we're at 10 minutes. I got to cruise. <laughs> yep, yep, the screensaver is gone. So I um, spent $3.75 and got a bottle of Dove. And this lasts me a long time. Instead of using a half a cup, I use like a tablespoon. Maybe I'll shampoo, you know, lather it twice. So this takes up a lot less space. And same thing with this. You're going to be taking up a lot less space to um, have products that will last you longer. There was a Dollar General shampoo that I have not tried yet. Radiant Volume Shampoo, it said compare to Pantene. And this was buck seventy-five, so I haven't tried that yet. Also picked up a package of Prell. That's all my recent purchases and my price sticker shock sting. <laughs> So it pays to shop around and be a little bit price savvy, and that's all I have to say. That was probably a lot. Done. Thanks. God bless.